Hello, I am Dr. Nayan. You are watching Biodesk. In our last video, we have discussed the introduction and general characters of phylum Orthopoda. Today, we shall study about the classification of phylum Orthopoda. Phylum Orthopoda is the largest phylum of animal kingdom. This is one of the group under invertebrates and this group includes about 80% of all known animals. This phylum has been classified into four main classes. On the basis of different features, the different classes here are class Insecta, class Crustacea, Myriapoda and class Arachnida, four different classes in Orthropoda. The example of insecta shown in the diagram here, the butterfly. This is the major group of arthropoda. Crustacea includes brown crab-like creatures. Myriapoda includes milliped, centipede, while class arachnida includes spider, scorpion. Let us see the characters of these different groups one by one. First class Insecta, the major group of phylum Orthopoda. Insects, you must remember this term. Insects include a large number of individuals. Mayfly, dragonfly, beetle, louse, bedbug, wasp, water spider. Silverfish, termite, butterfly, silk moth, housefly, honeybee, aphid, grasshopper. So these are the different common examples of insecta. A long list of insects can be made and we see several insects around us daily. These are mostly terrestrial and rarely aquatic. Body is divided into three different segments and they are head, thorax, abdomen. In them, thorax bears three pairs of legs, means six legs and that's why this group also called hexapoda, hexa six. So three pairs of legs and usually one or two pairs of wings are present. In them antennae and compound eyes are present and respiration takes place by trachea, trachea the network of tubes. Common examples are cockroach, butterfly, silk moth, mosquito, silverfish, silkworm, honeybee. These are all the common examples of class insecta. Now about next class Crustacea. Crustacea class includes mostly aquatic animals. So members of this group are mostly aquatic found mainly in water and most of them are marine seawater. However, brown is freshwater species also. Head and thorax fused to form cephalothorax. In this case, the anterior and middle part of the body remain fused and this reason called cephalothorax. Segments are not clear here because cephalothorax is covered by a hard plate and this plate is called carapace that we have mentioned here. Cephalothorax generally covered with carapace, a hard plate-like structure. Antennae present and wings absent. They are aquatic mostly, so wings absent. Appendages, many. Every segment of the body bears paired appendages, so several appendages. And appendages are often biramous. Biramous means one divided into two. Bi means two, ramai means branches. So most of the appendages are with two branches, by ramus, 
In them, respiration takes place mostly by gills. And common examples are brown, crab, daphnia. Daphnia is the scientific name. Common name, water flea, found in water. Cyclopes, also found in water, etc. Another class, class Myria poda. Myria means many, podos means legs. So these are the animals with many legs. Myria poda. In this group, all the members are terrestrial, living on land. Body usually elongated and cylindrical and is divided into head and trunk. So mainly two divisions. The anterior end of the body, simply called head, having antennae, and the posterior end or the major portion of the body, simply called trunk. So head and trunk, two divisions. However, the internal or the basic division, head, thorax and abdomen present. We see the use of terms head and trunk because body is elongated, cylindrical, worm-like. So worm-like body with numerous segments, each segment bears one or two pairs of legs. Legs are short, legs are jointed. So here in this case centiped, we are saying one pair of legs in each segment of the body. Antennae present in the head, but wings are absent. Respiration or the gases exchange takes place by trachea. And the common examples are milliped, scientific name Zulus, centiped, scientific name Scolopendra. Remember here, milliped, the name comes from millions of legs, not million, but so many. Similarly, centiped, centi means hundred, hundreds of legs, not exactly hundred, but so many legs in the body. That's why the name of the group, Myria poda. Now, another class, class Arachnida. Under this group, the members are mostly terrestrial. Body usually with two divisions. The two divisions of the body are cephalothorax and abdomen. Cephalothorax is also called prosoma, so anterior prosoma and posterior opisthosoma two divisions in the body, in case of a spider, prosoma and opisthosoma, but in case of a scorpion, opisthosoma further divided into mesosoma and metasoma. So in some members, we see three divisions, prosoma, mesosoma, metasoma. Here in spiders, simply prosoma and opisthosoma, that is the cephalothorax and abdomen. In these members, four pairs of walking legs, which are used in walking, four pairs, four pairs, so eight legs. Remember in insects, we have seen six legs. Antennae, wings and true jaws are absent. Wings are absent, true jaws absent, antennae also absent. And in spite of this antennae, here pedipalp, cheliceri are developed in their head region. Respiration takes place by gills or by book lungs. Remember book lungs, lung like a structure, rectangular and folded like books, so called book lungs. Common examples are a spider, a scorpion, ticks, mites, etc. Now, let us have a comparative look on these different groups about their features. Insects, mostly terrestrial. Crustacea, mostly aquatic. Myriapoda, all terrestrial. Arachnida, these are all terrestrial. When you talk about respiration, in insects, trachea, here gills, here trachea, here gills or book lungs. Talk about locomotory structures. In insects, three pairs of jointed legs. 
here several pairs of jointed legs but the legs are bidimus appendages bidimus usually here many pairs of jointed legs and here four pairs of jointed legs antennae present in insects in crustacea in myriapoda but antennae absent in arachnida wings present in most insects wings absent in other groups so these are the general features on the basis of which phylum orthopoda has been divided into four main classes insecta crustacea myriapoda arachnida hope this session was useful stay tuned for upcoming videos this much for today see you in the next one thank you Thank <laughs> you.